The women who say they were coerced into making pornographic videos in San Diego are fighting back with a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Jesse Pagan. Marcella is off tonight. Many of the women say they applied for what they thought were modeling jobs, only to find themselves forced to make pornography. CBS 8 Steve Price joins us from the federal courthouse downtown live with the details. Steve. And Carlo and Jesse, after being sued with, by 50 women back in 2021, the parent company of Pornhub is being sued again, this time by 62 women. And tonight, you're going to hear from one of them. The women say San Diego-based Girls Do Porn used force, fraud, and coercion to get them to make pornographic videos. Now, they're suing the parent company of Pornhub, one of the world's largest publishers of pornography, for spreading those videos around the world. Every view is, is a penny to them, but when you add up billions of views, it, it's a lot of money. So um, they, they really help spread the videos to every corner of the planet. This plaintiff, who asked not to be identified, says she was told multiple times that her videos would never be uploaded to the Internet. But she says within two months, links were sent to her social media contacts, destroying her life. It's degrading, honestly. Everybody seeing me in my most vulnerable state and not, not knowing the backstory. I've been very quiet, so even everybody I grew up with, they don't know, really what I've gone through or what happened. She says she had suicidal thoughts, and even now, a decade later, she can't escape the damage done. The video is actually, unfortunately, it's linked for me to my maiden and my married last name. So, I mean, just people Google people and you, you know, job employment opportunities and everything. It's like, that's the last thing I want is somebody just being able to Google me. And that's the first thing that pops up. And unfortunately, that's been my reality. 62 women are part of this new civil lawsuit alleging sex trafficking, racketeering, conspiracy to commit racketeering and human trafficking. The complaint says to this day, some victims' parents will not speak to them. Many victims lost their jobs and some were expelled from college. Loss of relationships, completely ostracized by my community. Um, I even, you know, it's been a decade, but I just, I can't escape this video even now. Pornhub's parent company, ALO, sent CBSA a statement saying in part, out of respect for the integrity of court proceedings, our policy is not to comment on ongoing litigation. We look forward to the facts being fully and fairly aired in that forum. The lawsuit is seeking damages of $10 million for each plaintiff. And the plaintiff that we spoke with said she spent years trying to get Pornhub to take down her videos. She would flag them when she would see them, but she says she never heard anything back and they stayed up. Finally, when criminal charges were filed against a few of the Girls Do Porn employees, that's when she says Pornhub started to take her videos down. Carlo and Jesse. Steve, I, I can't imagine the frustration. So are that mm. woman's videos no longer on the Internet finally? So she got Pornhub to take down the videos, but here's the problem with that. When they were on Pornhub, anybody could download them. So she says, yeah, they're down there, but they could have been uploaded to another website that could be uploaded back to Pornhub. She has no idea because she, has, she doesn't know how many people even have that video personally in their collection. So she continues to be victimized years later. Steve mm. Price reporting for us. Thanks, Steve.